today I am participating in the Crafting and Reading Blog Hop in honor of a very special little angel. Stay tuned for more and how you can get involved today on the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. Crafting About Reading YouTube Hop is hosted by my good friend and fellow industry professional Becky Adams. This hop is featuring Megan Andrew, Mari Clark, Paige Evans, Christine Meyer, Nicole Nowasad, and Missy Whitten. And we are all coming together for this YouTube Hop in honor of Becky Adams' youngest son, Austin. Little Austin tragically lost his life due to an undiagnosed medical condition a couple of years ago. And in honor of Austin's birthday and the anniversary of his passing, the Austin Adams Memorial Library Project was started. This is an annual event whereby you can go and purchase books from a special account on Amazon. And those books are donated to Austin's school. And when you purchase the books, the books are sent directly to Becky Adams and her family. They will put a special label in the book in honor of this project. And then the books get donated to the school. In fact, they deliver the books to the school in his honor. If this is something you would like to participate in, I posted all the details down below in the description. I highly recommend that you do. This is a great way to honor this young man and to pay tribute to his memory. Now, my fellow Crafty Buddies and I have put together a whole bunch of fantastic layouts with the theme all about reading. So I'm going to make an eight and a half by 11 spread. And it's going to talk about how I didn't read as much over the past year and a half as I normally have. And I think that had to do a lot with the pandemic and a bunch of other things. And so I talk about that a little bit in this layout. There's a little picture of a stack of books that I'm reading. Um, I actually got back into reading because I had signed up to be a facilitator for a book club. And so um, I was introduced to some titles that I probably wouldn't have read anyway. And I'm so glad that I did because they're a very, very good selection of books. And it kind of got me back into the habit of reading. So I thought I would make a layout about that. I'm using a whole bunch of Ellie Studio goodies. I have a ton of the three by four and four by six pocket cards. And so I decided to create a background as well as a spot for journaling with these cards. I subscribe to the monthly, um, I guess it's not called a pocket card kit. I don't think that's what it's called, but it's a monthly kit you can get with Ellie Studio that has a set of four by six and three by four pocket cards along with some cutouts. It's a great kit. I think it's only like $9, $9.99 US per month. And you get just a small pack of cards that you can use on a variety of projects. This is a great way to use up those extra three by four and four by six pocket cards that you may have in your stash. All right, so I'm gonna use a bunch of stamping on this uh, layout or do a bunch of stamping on this layout. I also wanted to make sure that the elements at the top and the bottom of the layout had space for my title, um, which the main title is read. <laughs> Nothing fancy, but that's what the title is. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and here these pocket cards. I just created a base using an eight and a half uh, by 11 piece of navy blue cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. I also used a piece of white cardstock that's near the solar white, and I trimmed off just a tiny bit of that so the navy blue paper would frame it. And now I'm adhering the pocket cards. So that first one that says documented is gonna be kind of my first anchor piece. Then I'm gonna layer on a smaller pocket card, and then I have this journaling pocket card that I'm going to put some type journaling on. I'm going to type the journaling, cut it out, and just adhere it to the card. I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom, splitting up the layout so that I have room for the title, which you're going to see me put together here in a second. These are acetate letters, all of this from Ellie Studio. In fact, I think everything I, I use on this layout is from Ellie Studio. I have a nice box full of Ellie Studio goodies. I'm going to go ahead and adhere the other three by four pocket cards down at the bottom. One's navy blue, one has the stripe with the multicolors, and of course all these colors work well together. And this particular layout would work well with smaller photos too. I'm using a eight and a half, I'm sorry, a four by six photo. I went ahead and put some foam on the back of that photo. I'm gonna pop that up. Next, I'm gonna use some Zots, and these are adhesive dots, the small ones. I'm gonna use that behind those little acetate letters. Now, here's the thing about these letters. Sometimes people ask, well, what adhesive can you use when you're working with this type of substrate? You can sew them on, you can add adhesive like the dots, and the dots may show through depending on the color and the saturation of that particular uh, material. You can um, add them on with 
a tiny attacher. Um, so there's lots of ways that you can adhere these on. And I don't mind just a little bit of the adhesive showing through. It doesn't show through a whole lot because these letters are dark. Now I'm gonna pull out a stamp and it says weekend with week, W-E-E-K being on the top line and end being on the bottom line. I auditioned another stamp for that area, but it wasn't gonna work out. I'm gonna go ahead and test out the stamp. Usually LE Studio stamps, they're a uh, photo polymer stamp, so they stamp very well. I like to test all of my stamps just to kind of season them. These are fantastic stamps. You just stamp on them, do a test stamp and you are good to go. Next up, I'm gonna pull out some embellishments. I've got some labels and some other acrylic pieces, puffy stickers and whatnot. And I am going to lay down first a label that says, good morning, because sometimes I read in the morning before I start my day. Then I have a tab because if you've been with me for a while, I always use tabs on my layout. I also have this little semicircle die cut that has a book because that's perfect for this theme for reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that there right above the label that says documented that is printed on that card. Next, I'm gonna bring in a little bit of stamping. So this is an older Ellie Studio stamp set. It's a book themed stamp set. I'm also bringing in some inks from Hero Arts. These are some little mini dye inks. I believe the yellow color is called Dandelion, the red is called Pink Tomato, and the blue is called Cornflower. So I'm doing just a little bit of a, uh, a test stamp there on some scratch piece of paper, and I'm gonna add it to my layout. Now there's a quite a bit of white space there on the line where the title is. And so I thought I'd fill that in with a stamp that says, read this. So I'm alternating the colors, bouncing the stamp kind of up and down. It gives a little bit of movement. I'm starting with the lighter color first and working my way with the other colors. Of course, I could have added more colors to this, but I thought three would be perfect. Wiping off the stamp in between applications with the pink, I'm sorry, the pale tomato. It's a little bit more of a of a deeper color. So what I'm gonna do is second generation stamping where I do a primary stamp first and then I do a secondary stamp which gives me a slightly lighter color. This is a really good way to stretch your stamping inks if you don't have a ton because you can get a whole bunch of shades of, a, of the same color and that really helps to stretch those ink colors out. All right, so I'm gonna reach for the Treasure This Stories stickers. Again, Ellie Studio. This is more of a washi style sticker, I guess. And there was a black and white one with uh, plus signs. I put that right on the label that says documented and then one that has the days of the week that I put right underneath my photo because it needed a tiny bit of black and white there at the bottom. I'm gonna go through some die cuts that I purchased recently from Ellie Studio. And what I'm looking for is something that I can layer in the bottom of the photo or somewhere, as you can see, I'm shopping around that label that says, so happy. I decided to go with Life Capture. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that up using a little bit of foam. I also pulled out a small little camera, this little uh, embellishment kit, or I guess I'd say embellishment pack rather, is all about photography. So selfies, taking photos, that type of thing. But I decided to pull out some of those little elements because I thought it would be perfect for the layout since I took a picture of my books. And then of course, this little label here that says live captured because reading is a part of my life, a big part of my life. I read pretty much every single day. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and layer that right there on top of the photo, pop that up with a little bit of foam. Now I'm coming in with some finishing details. I added a yellow star to the center of the camera lens and then I'm just adding these around the layout. I'm not 100% sure I like them. I thought about changing it, but I'm just gonna leave it for now because you know I don't like being that picky. I'm just gonna add little clusters there to the top right to the left side of the journaling card and then at the bottom where it says live captured. So far, so good. I went ahead and typed up my journaling and I use Microsoft Word to type it up. This is something that I like to do, particularly on journaling cards. You can type directly on these cards. However, if I mess up, it's going to be a whole thing. So I rather just type it on a separate piece of paper and just add it to the card. And I just use copy paper to do that most times. Now I want to add in the date. Here's where things get a little wonky. So I pull out some dated stamps from Ellie Studio and I thought the font size would be perfect for it to fit inside the box where it says date and it is for the most part except for when I get to the numbers then it seems like the size just kind of the the it seems a little bit bigger than what I anticipated so I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the month of May because that's when this photo was taken and then it was on the 18th so I grab number letters from the same stamp set of the word May stamp that and I put it on there excuse my little gray fro and <laughs> I stamp it on there and then wow that is super big, but you know what? I'm gonna leave it for a quick second. I thought I would try to cover it up in some way using another LA Studio dated stamp set. I'm not doing that, I don't have time for that. So 
<laughs> it is what it is. I'm going to put a chipboard sticker that says home in the box that says place. And then um, on the four by six pocket card next to the word documented, I put another one of those chipboard stickers that says loving this. And then I'm going to put another one right on the yellow label that says good morning. And I think with that element, I am done with this project. Again, I had no rhyme or reason for this particular layout, but every now and then you just have to sit down and work with your materials and get some things used up, particularly those pocket cards that we have laying around. All right, folks, if you wanna see more of this layout, make sure you check me out on Instagram. That information is posted down below. And if you wanna participate and give to the Austin Adams Memorial Library Project, all of that information is posted below as well, along with the links of my fellow designers who are participating in this hop. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. When you do, click the bell indicator. That way you'll know each and every time a new video is posted. I'll see you next time.